Hey, this is Justin with RockyMountainATVMC.com and this is our 2016 KTM 350 XCF bike build. For 2016, KTM has made their awesome 350 even better. The XC and SX models were totally redesigned from 2015. The most notable changes are the motor, completely redesigned, frame, bodywork, and they've managed to make the bike handle better, it's a lot lighter in weight, and it has a lot better power. So even though KTM has made an awesome bike for 2016 right out of the crate, my goal is to make it even better. Not only am I going to bling it out a little bit and add some style to it, but my main goal is to make it better for me and my kind of riding, which is primarily desert and single track. So let's put some stuff on this bike and get to testing. All right guys, I've had the bike for a few months now and I gotta say, I really love this thing. I've had it in the wide open high speed desert to the tight single track in the mountains and I've even taken it on a motocross track a few times and I really like this thing everywhere. So I wanna start out by talking about my overall impressions of the bike and then I'll get to the modifications. The first thing that really stands out on this bike for me is the, the motor. The power is just perfect on this thing. When KTM claimed that it made 58 horsepower, I was a little nervous that you're just gonna have to scream the thing, that it only makes good power up top. But it makes awesome power down low and everywhere in between. I can take this on the tight mountain trails and it does just fine. And it loves being screamed out in the desert or on the track. So KTM just did an awesome job on this motor. I really, really love this motor and wouldn't change anything about it. The next thing, as far as ergonomics, everything feels really good. It does feel lighter than a 450, but it certainly doesn't feel as light as a 250F, in my opinion. But it's very comfortable. Everything feels really good. Regarding the gearing, I think they did a really good job on it. It's great in the desert, but it is tall for your single track woods riding. I've actually gone up a couple teeth on the rear sprocket just to make it better on those single track trails. So moving on to suspension, I think KTM did a pretty good job. It felt a little unbalanced to me. Um, the rear shock is actually the same spring rate as the SX model and the forks are quite a bit softer. So the suspension was the first thing that I addressed and that kind of takes me to the mods. I want to first talk about the must have mods for this bike and then I'm going to talk about the nice to have mods. So with any bike, it's critical that you get the suspension set up for your weight and your riding style, the type of riding that you do. KTM has struggled for a few years with these 4CS forks. It's not, uh, most people, it's not their favorite fork. And I thought it was a little harsh as well. So talking to several people, they said, send it to Precision Concepts. They know what they're doing with the 4CS. They've got some great fixes. So that's what I did. I sent the shock and the forks to Precision. They revalved both of them. They put a softer spring on my shock and they left the stock springs alone in the fork. And whatever they did to it works awesome. My forks, I can hit the fast big whoops in the desert and I can also soak up the little rocks really well, trail riding. So I'm really happy with my suspension. Um, in 17, 2017, the KTM is supposed to come with the air forks. So I don't know if they'll have a better fork in 17, but if you have the 4CS forks on any of your bikes, Precision Concepts does an awesome job. So be sure and check them out. So with suspension taken care of, my next must have is protection. And on this bike, I've put on the P3 carbon skid plate and pipe guard. Uh, the P3 guys have been around for quite a while. They know what they're doing with carbon fiber. Their stuff looks good and it fits right. So I've been really happy with the skid plate and pipe guard. The next piece of protection I put on the bike is the Fastway Adjustable Billet Linkage Guard. It's adjustable so you can adjust the uh, height of the suspension, the height of the seat. I have mine in the stock setting which seems to work fine. 
But the nice thing about this guard is that it, it guards the front of your shock, which is really important if you're going over logs or through big rocks, things like that. KTM's kind of had a problem with their new linkage bikes, of that linkage getting hung up really easy. So this is a great solution for that. And then I've went ahead and put on the Tusk Deflex handguards. Wraparound handguards are a must for any off-road rider, in my opinion, especially when you're riding in the woods. And lastly, the piece of protection I put on is the Tusk Disc Guard. It's fairly inexpensive and it can save you from bending a disc in a race and it looks cool. Next, I had to put on a Lex exhaust. The stock silencer on this bike does not come with a spark arrester. So if you're woods riding or depending on where you're racing, sometimes a spark arrester is required. Where I ride in the mountains, I definitely have to have one. And the nice thing about the Lex is that it's fully tunable. So whether you're racing motocross, desert racing, or you like riding up in the mountains, you can tune it. So when I ride in the mountains, I throw in the Trail Saver Core, which is a spark arrester and a quiet core, and it just makes this bike whisper quiet. It helps me be respectful to the other user groups that use the canyons as well. And my final must have is Bridgestone Ultra Heavy Duty Tubes. I've had really good luck with these tubes. They seem to be the toughest on the market, and I get a lot less flats when I run them. That pretty much covers my must have items. Now let's talk about the nice to haves. First up on my nice to have list is the Tusk Impact wheels. I really like these wheels. They're extremely strong. The hubs are made from forged aluminum and then they're machined. It's got a 7000 series aluminum rim and best of all, they look really good. I also keep an extra rear wheel with a trials tire on it. I have a Dunlop trials tire and I use this when I go up in the mountains. Trials tires are just awesome in the tight technical stuff. They hook up really well and you don't deflect off rocks and stuff like you do a knobby. I've went ahead and put on the Enduro lighting kit. This lighting kit gives me blinkers, horn, tail light, brake light, and makes it so I can connect trails by riding on the road legally. Now, depending on where you live, you'd have to check with your regulations to make sure you can do the same, but here in Utah, it works really nice. Along with the Enduro lighting kit, I needed to run a headlight. So I'm running the Baja Design Squadron headlight. This thing is awesome, it's extremely bright. Now this bike, the stator doesn't actually have enough output to run the headlight unless you wanna kill your battery. So I've actually sent the stator into Baja Designs. They've rewrapped it so my output is now 90 watts. So I can safely run that headlight without killing my battery. I've also put on a Scott's Performance sub mount kit. This is a really nice steering stabilizer setup with a BRP clamp. And the nice thing about the BRP clamp is that it's rubber mounted. It's actually got four rubber mounts on it and you can adjust the rubber durometer depending on how much flex you want. Another nice accessory that I put on this bike is this radiator cap with a temperature gauge. And I found this thing to be kind of cool. I, I find myself watching my temperature all the time, especially when I'm riding in the tight trails. And surprisingly, this bike does really well. I actually haven't even had it boil over on me yet. Finally, the last nice to have things I put on this bike are just some bling items, some billet pieces, reservoir caps, gas cap, brake pedal, things like that that just really make the bike look even better. Along with the bling, I also had a TAC Graphics build me some custom graphics to really make this bike look awesome. And another accessory most of you guys will probably never run, but I run quite often, is a chainsaw rack. And this chainsaw rack is from Trail Tech. It works really good with the steel saw. We do a lot of trail cleaning here in Utah, and this thing's awesome. I can just stop the bike real quick, cut a fallen tree, and, and hop back on and go. So we cover a lot of trails quickly, thanks to this chainsaw rack. All right guys, that wraps up our 2016 KTM 350 XCF bike build. Again, I think this is a great bike. I think it's gonna fit a broad range of riders. Be sure and check out our website for all your aftermarket and OEM parts, apparel, and accessory needs. And be sure and click to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more bike builds and product reviews. Thanks for watching.